Alrighty, welcome to Leftovers. Um, this is Leftovers. I'm your host, Leftovers, and it is going into the last week of August, which I, for one, am thankful. It's been it's been a hot summer. Uh, crazy week, crazy week, and week two doing doing another uh, uh, vlog. Hopefully, we could stay on track this time. Do this every Sunday ish. And yeah, get a get a vlog out there just to contextualize everything that's that's happening here. Now, I uh, did a lot of work on the website, getting everything set up so it can be presented and looked at, and options to you know purchase uh, originals, prints, things like that. Just kind of a cohesive hub. And I think uh, uh, as far as my social media, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on that. Build it up on the website and then spread the feelers out everywhere else and just have the focal point be the website versus driving traffic all these different places. One stop shop, everything. Bam at VFX, breaking arts and music. Real cool. So, very proud with uh, what I've accomplished on the website. And then uh, we also managed to uh, make, make a few videos this week. And uh, we'll get started. We'll just go through those real quick. First up was uh, Malgan Portens Fungoid Cave Shaman. Yeah, I always have to read that out, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing it appropriately. But yeah, that was all done in a, a, it's a Warhammer miniature model. My very first one. Very first painting of one. Um, had a lot of fun doing it. Took me about six hours to do that. Just now got around to making the video. But yeah, it was a good time. Everybody, everybody had a great time with that. Uh, next up, tutorial Tuesday of this week, we uh, presented how to make a business card in the Photoshop. Um, yeah, so if you want to check that out, uh, you'll learn a lot of the basics doing a business card, which is what makes it a, a good tutorial because you get to learn, you know, adjusting your sizes things like that and then uh, uh, like marquee tool and you know just pretty much basic layout so if you're just starting at Photoshop that's a good one for you a good one I'm pretty pretty thorough going through the tools things like that first cosmic space painting of the season I didn't think I was gonna do these this year I thought I was just gonna take a break from it but they actually uh, they sold pretty well they sold pretty well so uh, Ran out of inventory. I made a lot over the last couple of years and and sold a lot just over the past couple weekends. So yeah, you're gonna see you're gonna see more cosmic space paints, more cosmic space paints to come. In fact, I've already got uh, I've got four more done. I just need to cut the videos. Next up, we had uh, one of these uh, three by five work doodles. When I had a day job, I'd just say, you know, would doodle at my desk all day and then bring it home, take it into Photoshop. This was one of those. And I call this one Vania. It was inspired by uh, Castlevania and how at the end, for some reason, you, you kill the bad guy and have to touch an orb. I don't know why. That's, that's just the way the world works. The world of Castlevania. Okay, and then, uh, let's see, full roll photography, the back air photography, we all had a pretty good time, me and the mutts, me and the mutts went out there, and, and just shot the ground, shot the ground, and yeah, that one's, that one's a good one to check out too, like I said, all in the hub, on my website, worked very hard on that this week, and then finally, the last one we got is, uh, digital sketchbook, been a while, I've been working so hard, been a while since I've really done any sort of creative art, you know, I've just been working hard designing, but I got around to yesterday doing a digital sketchbook, and I'm pretty proud of that one. Came out pretty good, came from a Tangerine business card, Tangerine Dimension, yeah, so that's where we're at with that, and then uh, outside of the virtual world computer stuff um flea market went really well like i said i sold a lot of paintings at the flea market made my first ebay sale this week i've only been on ebay for a week but already sold on ebay and i sold a purse <laughs> i sold a coach bag 
for, you know, like $27. So not too bad. And I made like $17 off of it. Pretty happy I sold something on eBay. I hear it's, it's hard to do listings and get set up if you've never done it before. Um, I listened to some podcasts and, you know, just kind of based off of that and already selling stuff. Proud of that. And then finally, I got hit with a photographer scam. Put out an, an ad on Craigslist for photography. And then somebody texted me inquiring about my services. And they only wanted to text. And that was that was my uh, red flag. It's like there's a flag on the play. These people don't want to talk about their wedding at all. Uh, sure enough, they said they were sending a check. They sent it to my P.O. box. I got the check and it was for about $900 over um, what we agreed upon on the price. So probably this Tuesday's tutorial is going to be how not to get scammed. I think that's that's what we're going to do. Well, anyway, um, that's all I've got. That's all I've got for, for this episode. It was, uh, it was a good time. You know, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. And if you want to stick around, um, all the links are... Actually, go to the website and then you can see all the links, everything I'm associated with, and you can do what's good for you. And that's www.breakingartsandmusic.com. Outside of that, you guys take it easy. Stay safe. Drink water. Um, don't leave anybody in the car still. It's, it's still way too hot for that. And, uh, um, yeah. Later.